There are a lot of young teams that are getting a lot of hype these days. The Phoenix Suns with Devin Booker, Josh Jackson, and Marquise Chris. The Minnesota Timberwolves with Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins. And most hyped of all, the Philadelphia 76ers, who process their way to a starting lineup made of three or four future All-Stars. But there's one young team with lots of potential that I feel does not get the attention that it deserves, and that's the Dallas Mavericks. After winning a championship back in 2011, the Mavericks have been on a slow, downward spiral. They have been signing mediocre free agents year after year, which really leads to nothing. The most recent of those free agents have been Monte Ellis, Chandler Parsons, and Wesley Matthews. But last season, they signed another player who was expected to be mediocre, and that was Harrison Barnes. But luckily, Barnes has been far from mediocre. As a matter of fact, Barnes this season was a serious contender for most improved player. Barnes went from a meme, because of how he played in the finals, to a really good scorer on the Mavs. In Golden State, Barnes was repressed to being just a spot-up shooter, but in Dallas, he's able to show off his deadly mid-range game where he gets most of his points, and he's also solid at creating out of the post for fadeaways and moving hooks. And of course, he still has a solid defense that he's always had. Barnes is 25, which by NBA standards isn't that young, but he still has 10 more seasons in him where he can be a focal point for the Mavs offense. The Mavs also this season drafted Dennis Smith Jr. Everybody and their mother says that this guy has been slept on, and based on his summer league performance, I'd say that's fair to say. Dennis comes from the same vein as Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook. He's an incredibly athletic point guard whose bread and butter is attacking the basket, and he has the size the athleticism, and the motor to be a great defender. His three-point shot that could be described as underwhelming or below average has looked decent in Summer League as he shot 35% from three. Another young player the Mavs have that I'm really excited about is Nerlens Noel. Nerlens is a run, jump, and dunk center. He's great in the pick and roll, he can catch lobs all day, and even though his offensive game is pretty below average, he's shown improvement with his mid-range shot and he has a sweeping hook that he goes to sometimes, and he can finish with both hands with relative ease. But when you think of Nerlens Noel, you don't think of offense. You think of defense. And that's because Nerlens is a great rim protector and an overall defender. He can block shots, and because he is lacking in muscle mass, he can move around the court with great speed for his center, and he can switch onto guards in the pick and roll and keep up with them. Unfortunately, Nerlens went through some injury problems this season, so he had minutes restrictions, which made his stats look not that glorious. But if we look at Nerlens per 36, he averaged 14 points, 11.2 rebounds, 1.6 steals, and 1.8 blocks. A double-double with great defense from a 23-year-old player is very good, and he's going to be the defensive anchor for the Mavs for years to come. Besides for those three, there's Yogi Ferrell, who's a three-point gunner, as he shot 40% from three on four attempts per game. He averaged 11.3 points and 4.3 assists, which is very solid for a rookie. And with Dennis Smith ahead of him at point, I imagine Yogi Ferrell will be a six-man-of-the-year candidate in the future, and he's only 23. And there's also Seth Curry. He's a great three-point shooter as well. He averaged 12.8 points, 2.7 assists, and he shot 48% from the field and 42.5% from three. He's 26. And there's also Dorian Finney-Smith, who's a great defender, but he needs to work on his offensive game. So the Mavs have three young players in Barnes, Dennis Smith, and Noel, who all seem like they will be defensive pluses, Noel being a much more than just a plus. They have a shot creator and pure scorer in Barnes, who you can give the ball to and just ask him to get a bucket. And they have an insanely athletic point guard in Dennis Smith, who has the potential to be a great defender and a polished offensive player. And they have two players who are three-point gunners that are always appreciated in a modern-day NBA offense. The Mavs have a bright future, and I just wanted to let you know. That's the end of this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more daily NBA videos and cue the outro music.